Once again, welcome to What's Up Haitian. Cristali Parizo met with the artist Patricia Beber. And we're here today with Patricia Beber. Thank you so much for joining us. And I was so surprised to learn what is it that you do. Why don't you tell our audience? Okay, uh, I'm an artist from Argentina. I love art, I love to paint. I am an interior designer. Painting is my way to, to communicate my passion, what I feel, how I feel, and where, I'm, where I came from. Okay, and painting is the main thing that you do. You say you're an interior designer, you do many things. Yes. But you, you mostly paint. Yes, this it, painting okay. is, is my passion and it's what I love to do uh, in the last couple of years. I completely be focused in, in mm -hmm. painting. Mm -hmm. yes. but how many, when did you know that you wanted to paint? Have you always um, been painting? No, I, I always be painting and I always working in, in skills about, in my skills about art. But I decided, I think, uh, 13 years ago, mm -hmm. that I wanted to become an artist and to paint and to do art professionally, okay. you know? So tell me what it is exactly about painting that you love so much. I love the process of painting. Uh, for me, the process is like uh, energy. I don't know where it came from, but it's like, I feel free. Walk me a little bit through the process from start to finish when you create a piece. Well, I, I always start from, from the blank. Right. <laughs> so, But before I, you start painting, you actually think about what you're going to paint or you just... No. 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 Okay. <laughs> I have an idea. Okay. But the final process is the final uh, the final painting mm -hmm. is never what I got in my mind <laughs> yes you know I cannot plan it I cannot plan it so you wake up you you have an inspiration and then you get a canvas and you start painting yes okay and then how long does it usually take you to finish a piece two hours two hours two hours would yes. you say that and I norm? take a lot of time <laughs> I take a lot of Maybe it can be less, mm -hmm. but what happened? Maybe you have, I need to let the painting dry bef because I, I, I work in layers. And by um, the way, um, this is Patricia's uh, painting, if you can see she's pointing at it. So we're actually looking at one of her paintings and we'll look at a, a, a bit more later, but I just wanted to mention that. So this is one of your paintings and that took you about two hours? Yes. Okay. And yeah. you work in layers, you said, so you let one yes, dry for before? For example, I, <laughs> I paint the background uh -huh. and I let dry a little bit so I can do another layer. And the thing is, uh, that is very important because you don't mix it right. with the dry, with the, um, with the wet painting behind. Okay, is it acrylic or oil? It's or acrylic, it's, acrylic. it's oil, it's enamel, <laughs> it's a mix of everything. Oh, wow, okay. And how, what type of paintings do you do? What type of art do you consider? I consider that I, 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 I do, I'm abstract, abstract. Uh, but with a mix of figurative art, yes. Oh, okay, okay. And you, you actually studied art? Um, I study interior design and I also went to a ceramic school when I there. I study um, drawing and painting and all that. If I know correctly, you started painting back in Argentina. Yes. So now you live in Florida. Yes. And you still paint. Is that what you do for a living now? No, it's not what I do for a living now, but it is in my plans. Okay. It is in my plans because I, I was um, painting, I was accumulating a lot of art at home and in my studio. And in Argentina, I used to do a completely another thing. Yeah. I was a woman of business running oh, a company okay. <laughs> with a lot of people. Uh, wow. <laughs> I wanted to change my life and I 
like I told you, I wanted to do... Um, what you were passionate about. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. What are your other hobbies? What do you do for fun? Well, I'm working in my, in my new line of purses. And my new line of jewelry. Oh, really? So it's going to be a completely surprise for everybody. Nice. <laughs> um, it's going to be uh, unique pieces. Mm -hmm. Unique pieces. I don't nice. want to do a lot of quantity, but I want <laughs> to do a personalized product. Okay. Can you give me an idea of your prices? How much do you usually charge for a painting? That's a difficult question. Uh, but um, it depends on the size of the painting, it depends on the technique, it depends how, how much time did you get involved with that work, mm -hmm. and uh, it depends, okay. it varies. Could you tell me at least what's the lowest price you ever charged for a painting? <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer to keep that in private. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, that's fine. Um, but tell me a little bit more about your the business aspect because you said you were a businesswoman. Yeah. And you know, I've I've always heard throughout my life that people are either left brain, right brain, creative, or business. It seems like you have both. <laughs> So, uh, would well, you say that that's correct? <laughs> my dad, I can, the only thing I can tell you, uh, and I'm speaking from the bottom of my heart, is that my dad trained me. Okay. My dad trained me to do that. You didn't have a choice. And I'm, no, <laughs> let me tell okay. you, I'm using that now. Right, that's, that's great. <laughs> Maybe at that time I didn't understand yeah. what, I'm, what I was going to do with that in the future. In Argentina, what we do is, I have a company with my dad, uh, um, my grandpa used, used to do uh, the founder of the company. Uh, the company has fif 50 years, so mm -hmm. we sell tools and machines, okay. and it's, it's very nice uh, to share both, you no, know, the, the creative parts and the business parts. In this. What was your role exactly in the company? I, I'm the director. The I'm director. still the director. Oh, the you company. still are? Yes. <laughs> How I'm do you manage to, to do that? Uh, I do, away from I home. do <laughs> different activities. Um, when I'm here in Miami, I work from here to do some business, to get in touch with the vendors that they are in the street. But it, it's nice to, mm -hmm. to have uh, different roles, mm -hmm. not only focusing only one thing. For right. example, the art. Right. Yeah. Uh, that makes you feel that better, no? Mm -hmm. How would you describe yourself? What What's your What are your flaws, your <laughs> qualities? What do you like the most about yourself and hate? <laughs> well, um, I like the idea that I'm completely changing all the time, all the time. I'm changing and changing my surroundings, no? changing the, the things that I want to do. I'm always creating, if it is something for the kitchen, for the living room or something, I'm always changing the things. Mm -hmm. That is what, what I enjoy much. I love to, to meet new people. Okay. And what about your flaws? What do you think you need to improve on? <laughs> Well, as a person, you you always need to improve. Mm -hmm. You always have to believe that that you that you need to get better, because if you don't do that, you are stuck. And yeah. You don't. You cannot make bigger things that you are doing right now. So, I think it's life is a process. Design is a process. Having a family. It's also a process. Right. So every process needs changes. What do you think is the emotion that comes across your paintings the most? Anger or sadness no, or happiness? It's, or it's happiness, completely. <laughs> happiness and freedom. Freedom. Okay. Yes. What do you hope to, to do with your paintings? What, what is your ultimate goal in life? Well, I have a lot of goals. Mm -hmm. uh, for now, uh, I'm, I'm completely uh, focused on building uh, 
my line of shuri and my line of uh, purses and I also want to do something good for other people. What do you uh, mean by that? That project is about uh, the women that are fighting against cancer and I want to do I want to collaborate with my art to do things for them. Okay. So how how exactly? What do you see? Okay. How do you see your art fit in to uh, that? I love the idea of art therapy related to the woman um, that are fighting breast cancer. I can sense a little bit of African influence in your art. Am I am I correct? I mean, because it kind of looks a little bit like African. It's a, now that you mention, mm -hmm. maybe yes, the contour of the figures, yeah. uh, but it's not, for me it's not, it's, it's figurative, may mix it with abstract. Okay. Mm -hmm. abstract I know you did, you did a, a painting of the Haitian flag. Yes. What do you know with about the, the Haitian with culture? With the Haitian color. Yes. Okay, my husband is Asian and I love the culture, I love the food, it's, it's an amazing people, I went to meetings with all the Asian people and I love that. You I said the food, it. what kind of food do you, oh, do you like the most? Okra. <laughs> Accra. <laughs> She knows about Accra. I love that. Grio, yes. you know Grio. Yes. Okay, nice. Yes. And what are your, what is your message to all our viewers? You know, uh, most of our viewers are Carib of Caribbean descent. What is your message to all our viewers watching? Um, especially, say thank you to everybody to to get involved in what I'm doing. Uh, and it's, it's my passion, and it's nice when you share that with the people. No? And, and how can people get in touch with you and follow you? You can visit my website, patriciaweber.com, and also my Instagram, hashtag patriciaweberart, and there you can see all my paintings and my sculptures and all my works. And so okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure having you on the show and we hope to see you okay. again soon. Thank you so much to you and to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. He was looking for happiness. Um, the key of happiness was lost in the galaxy. <laughs> wow. This is a painting that belongs to Mills's collection. Uh, basically it's uh, it's like the word say it is Mills's so it's painting floating in the space mixing with texture and different colors. This is love, uh, inf infinite love, um, it has to be with the idea of the love uh, that per perdure in, in time. This is the circles of, it's called circles of life, and uh, it has to be that uh, life is not only one thing and it's, on, it's not only about one person, it's not only about uh, one episode.